years ago, I read an interview that the Oscar winning actor Javier Bardem did in Time magazine. And he said that what he wants most when he's old and retired is that all the characters he's played get inside a room and they don't have anything to say to each other because they're so different. And I wow. think that if there's any actor in Hindi cinema who aspires to that, it is our man. Actor and chameleon, Ranveer Singh. Bajira <laughs> <laughs> loves you too. <laughs> I am so happy to be here, ma'am. I always wanted to do this. I am so happy to be here. I movie stars, I have thought how good it will be to call me. Okay. I am such a good conversationalist, you know. That you are. That and you I really are. I'm always looking for an opportunity uh, to have these deep intellectual conversations <laughs> about craft and stuff. I know. Otherwise, it's all like, aapke koi plans hai, future plans. Aapki picture mein aapko beti chahiye, aapko life mein kya chahiye, you know. <laughs> Anybody ask me that one more time? I'm just gonna. Mm. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm far out, enough away. Um, Ranveer, it is always so good, so good to see you. Cheers, man. Cheers. cheers. Really, cheers. Cheers to Love meeting it. each other in person. Cheers. A hug, a kiss, a high five. So, folks, now we get serious. <laughs> Ranveer, I was looking at your filmography, and Jayesh Bhai Jordar is the first film you're doing with a debut on director after Ban Baja Bara in 2010. And I was just thinking about the dynamics of that. You know, um, of course, Manish Sharma directed you in Ban Baja Bharat. He's one of the co-producers of this one. But what are the qualities that only a first-time director has? I think they have a very different energy from your accomplished makers, um, your senior makers. They have a very uh, kinetic, effervescent, bubbling energy. And it's like uh, when you're a new actor, it's the reverse. Now, in, the, in this case, it's almost like the reverse. It's like it's on you as a performer to harness that energy, huh. to use it to your advantage, to build up and construct an effective performance. So, Divyang is he's always moving. He's always and, you know, it's their first time. And it's like, he, uh, like me, he also comes from no background. So, this is like make or break, you know. This is like uh, World Cup penalty kick. It has to go in. Yeah. You know, if it goes in, you're a world champ. If it doesn't, you go home. So, with that kind of um, make or break nature of the opportunity, they just put so much of themselves, their emotion, they're completely involved. Uh, and all makers are. But there's a difference in, in their approach. Um, there is a nervous energy in the newcomers that must be channeled. And they do. Like, it, there's a difference in their energy in the sense like uh, the senior makers are more like anchored, you know, and they are, you know, they, yeah, how do you say, manipulating the energy flow and making this film, making their vision come to life. The new directors are just, is this almost like a desperate energy about it. And I love that desperate energy. I used to have that desperate energy. You know, there's a, there's a, there's a desperation and not with any kind of negative context. Right, it's, it's a great. good desperation. Yeah, it's like, it's, he's always on the move. He's so invested, you know, you've got to watch Divyang at the monitor. He's so invested in his characters, in the world of his film. And he himself is a writer, actor, director. Um, and when he watches the take, for instance, uh, if, the, if the monitor is kept here, he doesn't watch it from a distance. He watches it like this. There's Divyang. He watches the, the screen is literally here. And he is... He is performing along with you. So as you are performing, he's performing with you. The scene is like. <laughs> and then he's crying with you. And then he, 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 he can't even call cut. Somebody else has to call cut because he's so in it. Right. Somebody else is. Uh, so either the actor just looks away like. You're going to call cut now. <laughs> <laughs> 
so the actor just looks to the side somebody or the other the first day he gets it he's like yeah 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 oh, cut cut so he's so immersed in it yeah. and it's beautiful to see and it's beautiful to feed off because it's ever so infectious and that was what attracted me you know adi and manish the way they designed this uh, project wise was that they were like you are literally you and ratna and bamana are probably the only human beings on this set who have experience yeah. the first ad was a first time or the director was a first time so it was all the shalini's first movie the uh, gia's debut so all of these energies were fresh you know um and that's that they wanted to align with the freshness of the material so something completely fresh unique and original will come out of it they were they, uh, they placed their bets on that and uh, i'm happy to see that it it has worked their little stroke has worked so divyang at the trailer launch ranveer said that he narrated this story to you uh, and at the end of it you didn't say it but he could see in your eyes that you've surrendered completely to him tell me about that about you as a superstar with a global following surrendering to a person who is absolutely raw and absolutely new how do you is that automatic do you have to tell yourself to do it there is a small component uh, in your head which is like okay uh, any any trappings any pitfalls of a newcomer you as the experienced person in this dynamic you should look out for that but for the most part i really just respect the fact that he is the director and it is his vision and it's his vision that we're bringing to life um i never breach that protocol uh, no matter who the director is whether he's a senior or whether he's a newbie I'll never breach that director actor protocol it's their story to tell their vision they've lived this material longer than I have I've come in 3 months 4 months 6 months prior they've lived it for a year 2 years 3 years they're way more invested in the characters the world of the film they know every beat they've gone over it a, a million times so you respect that their degree of investment in the material you know that it's their vision and and you know your place as the actor I I just need to be the like I say the best clay possible that one can mold or be the most uh, fluid liquid uh, be like water that he can mold me or you could look at it this way that uh, this guy has this material he has to bring it to life he's got to attack it i want to be the best tip of the spear that he can possibly get so so i i always like if there is a creative disagreement ever with any director senior newcomer whatever the case they are always right you know because it's not your story to tell they are the storyteller you are just a vehicle just a tool so i know my place and i never breach that protocol he, he may be a newcomer but he's way more invested in this and you got to you got to feed off of that and use it to your advantage he's he's way more in it already right than you uh you know i read this really brilliant piece in film comment about kate blanchett and um the writer talked about how uh our version of or at least the public persona of Kate Blanchett is very controlled very poised very elegant but the word she uses very very often in her interviews is chaos um and it's this dissonance between that and the internal which is what makes her such a charismatic and compelling actor and i was wondering if the same is true for you because look at your external right look at you uh, look look at the man who just jumped into the audience right <laughs> and yet and we we know that you're such a serious actor who gives into the process completely and completely inhabits his characters is this a correct thesis you may be right <laughs> <laughs> i don't think this projection that you see or persona that you perceive uh i don't think that's not me right it's a, uh, it's one version it's one version yeah um me at work is another version uh me at home is another version me with my pals is another version me as mm, this guy is another that guy is another space all together but all of them are me somewhere or the other for khilji perhaps i had to tap into a part of me that perhaps uh, has a lot of darkness with it very disturbed um and um jayesh perhaps somebody very sensitive with to perhaps somebody very happy go lucky now i have all these facets to my personality and it's just where 
uh, in this equalizer which one do you uh, you know amp up for that for that context yeah. so it really depends on the context honestly i i i have this uh, great belief uh, about life that life is suffering you know is like i look around the world like just look at what happened in the past 2 2 and a half 3 years to us as a collective it's just it's very difficult yeah life is very difficult for everybody you know uh i'm sitting in front of you today i'm very grateful that all of you people are sitting here um but i'm fighting my own battles that perhaps i don't speak about you are fighting your own battles you are fighting your own battles everybody has got a battle to fight make no mistake everybody Absolutely. every human being in this space yeah. nobody has it's not all roses um and so in life i like to be light footed right i like to walk through this journey of life walk lightly light footed because yeah. we all know the inevitable destination we all going to die someday you know and this journey is very difficult it's a rocky path it's sunny it's beating down on us this is there's there's adversity at every corner so when it's hard for everyone they and and suffering is is just attached to everybody's life because i believe this time in 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 this timeline is like the kalyug i believe in that concept and it's the worst it's ever been i feel for 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 humans you know just existing in the world today is agonizing and so in life i like to joke i like to keep it light uh, i like to i'll i'll do stupid or silly things deliberately sometimes just to make a person smile you know i feel like i'll be your companion on this journey and i'll i'll tell you a joke or i'll tell you a story that might distract you from the fact that we're having a tough time here uh and i'll sing you a song i'll do you a dance i'll entertain you on this journey that we are on together and that's really my approach so when i engage people in a public context um i feel like it's my it's my purpose it comes to me very naturally it's, it's no effort whatsoever i just like to keep things light and low brow and silly and slapstick and you know i like uh, there there should be humor and a lightness of being um and and sunshine you know uh but yeah i reserve the darkness for myself and god no i'm a dark guy i'm really dark yeah see no cheer for that mm. <laughs> what yeah. we love your name we love this guy yeah bad guy well you know you you I'm, do i'm very serious at work huh? of course see, you all are. my team is is standing here in the wings in my eye line everything uh so it's like they know me very differently yeah uh it's it's not always fun in games when i'm at work it, it can't be yeah, because I'm, look at your performances yeah so it it really then you know depends on the context um if and it's different roles we play different roles in life like uh, like i i said to you i'm not the same at even in my own house with my folks and i'm very different with my my close pals you know it's a it's like a this this uh, back slapping lad atmosphere they they different contexts you behave differently uh, so yes that public persona is a very authentic side to me but on set again even on set it's not it's not simple that okay i'm only serious on set if i'm shooting circus with rohit chetty we're laughing our heads off all day it, yeah. if that's the context there but if i'm on the set of padmavat perhaps you know and we're shooting a very serious scene i carry that energy with me so it really depends on the context that i'm placed in well i'm just grateful i'm not your bodyguard <laughs> you know, I mean, imagine the hell these guys go through i'm pretty pretty sure they pretty sure they think i'm psycho <laughs> <laughs> it's mildly schizophrenic karan was joking about it the karan jor was joking about it the other he was like you have so many people inside you we just don't know which one we're going to get on any particular day <laughs> however it helps me at work so do you know sharuk had told me this that i think javed saab once walked up to gori and said how are they <laughs> <laughs> because sharuk said exactly the same that there's so many people inside he he is true greatness that man yeah Um Shahrukh Khan is an absolute pioneer in Indian entertainment you know. Yeah. Um <laughs> No doubt about it. It's the king for a reason, you know. Just I was joking the other day uh in his presence. I was like and I was telling a third person I was like he he won't say it himself but 
इन्हों जो, ने जो मॉल बनाया है उसमें हम अपनी छोटी दुकान चला रहे हैं एंड दैट्स द ट्रूथ यू नो ही इज अ पाइनियर ही इज ही मेड ही मेड एंटरटेनमेंट वॉट इट इज सच इज इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ही मेड अवार्ड शोज लाइव शोज एडवर्टाइजिंग um you know film promotions he is the benchmark the norm he he defines the he defines it it is the gangster the original gangster <laughs> and he is a gangster sometimes yes. yeah he is yes. an absolute gangster best believe uh but Can i really i really pose. really i really love him and i really have a great amount of respect for him and i can't wait to see him back on screen yeah <laughs> absolutely So, so I asked Manish Ranveer how you've changed between Ban Baja Barat and Jayesh Bhai, and I'm going to read out his answer so I don't mangle his words. He said, "I'll tell you a little incident. Before the release of Ban Baja Barat, Ranveer saw the final film for the first time at YRF. Post the screening, we were walking down the corridor. I asked him, 'Kaisi lagi?' And Ranveer said, with a very non-committal body language, 'It's not my kind of genre. I don't know what to say. मैं सच बताऊँ तो मैं तो अपने आप को देख रहा था एज एन एक्टर बड़े इश्यूज हैं मेरे में पिक्चर कैसी है पता नहीं ओके एंड ही कंटिन्यूज ही सेज ही केम टू बैन बाजा बारात एज अ फुल्ली फॉर्म्ड एक्टर विद एन इंटेंट ऑफ एक्सेलिंग एट हिज क्राफ्ट एंड ही कंटिन्यूज टू डू एग्जैक्टली दैट ही हैज ओनली एडेड एरोज टू हिज क्वेबर बट फ्रॉम डे वन ही इज हिट द बोल्स आई Last bit, folks, is as a person, Ranveer has stayed super grounded and super lazy, as he has always been. People see him as an energizer bunny, but the moment he is by himself, he's an ode to indolence. He is at his happiest being a couch potato, watching football or playing video games, and that hasn't changed at all. <laughs> I I I probably never heard a more accurate interpretation of me or like that's spot on. But Mr. but you came, you watched this film, and you instantly, with a sort of forensic eye, knew that you have lots to work on, and that was your aim, not what this whole film was about or what it could do for you. You know, any actor who tells you they watch the they watch their stuff for the first time, if they say they watch the film, they're lying. They only watch themselves. <laughs> The first watch by the way you're only counting pimples. <laughs> And you're making notes ye dena hai clean up ke liye interval wale scene mein chin pe ek bahut bada phoda tha. <laughs> This is the god's honest truth you're only counting the marks on your face. Uh and then you watch it a second time then you're only watching yourself in isolation it's like everything is out of focus you're only focusing on that. Then you watch it a third time and a fourth time. Then after a year, two years, maybe you can watch it as a film. Otherwise, when it's all fresh, you're just watching yourself. Um, and it's, uh, it's. It, I think it's just the natural thing. That's what that's what actors do. That's really the truth. Um, having said that, my objectivity about a film can only come in much later. Somehow, when I watch the film one year, two year, three years later. Um, and especially when i decide to watch it spontaneously like there's no plan to watch it eh? i see a thumbnail or something i'm like yeah let's see a scene or two uh then i'm like okay okay aha uh -huh, okay nice huh? <laughs> <laughs> are you very critical of yourself not anymore what has changed i'm just kinder to myself uh in general <laughs> it's nice yeah You got to be easy on yourself. Now I've started cutting myself some slack. I used I used to be overtly hard on myself, overtly critical. Um, my my ambition to excel is such that there is absolutely no margin for anything less than. I don't want to use any <laughs> anything less than great. Um, so, in that sense, it, it wasn't helping me at all. So instead of being hard on myself, I um, I try and see the merit uh, because now I look upon that guy who performed that one or two years ago. I'm like, you try. I at least I know deep down in my heart I tried my best. So if you tried your best, then what is there to critique? You know. 
you tried some something was uh, something landed something worked something did uh it's fine you go out the next time try again and even there you do your best so yeah off late uh i've evolved into the kind of person who's kinder on myself nice and you're happier that way yeah i i um i manage my expectations of myself i i've, I've really evolved right now i try and achieve a work life balance so, you know till not so long ago it was just work 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 uh because i love my work i'm obsessed by my work i i don't even see it as work most times i see it as play you know and i'm having a blast in just about everything i do um but now you know as you grow older you start attaching so much emotional value to your close relationships and you realize that life is but a shared experience and who you share it with and just a collection of memories on memories so you try and build memories try and spend more time with the people you love so those relationships in order to nurture them and cultivate them into being more substantial uh so you have to dedicate ultimately what do we have this what defines us we only have time and how we spend our time in this one life that we have is what defines us yeah so that time and how you use it uh matters uh so while say i used to it used to be very lopsided i used to only work uh but now i spend time with my wife my friends my family and it's lovely i uh i'm it, it, and all credit to my wife she is <laughs> she's the reason i'm i'm able to have this personal evolution she she literally um guides me because she's also been there Yeah. she's also seen the the pitfalls of working too much uh you know um she's experienced a burnout and um she doesn't want me to go down that same um not so pleasant path so having had this realization herself that it's important to have a work life balance she's now sharing it with me so so cutely she sits on the dining table with my calendar and she she's like she she manages my day she's like yeah you can you can do this we can do this on this day this day so it's 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 really lovely jai jhule lal i'm very lucky very happy <laughs> <laughs> but you know i suspect that you were having fun from day one okay yeah yeah i want us to see a clip i found kya la vodka thank you thank you thank you <laughs> So so this is a clip folks I we found on the net. Can we can we see okay this is one. But see the end. So yeah, serious. But you, you're in it. Yeah, yeah. Fully in it. Yeah, yeah. Even in acting class and stuff, I used to be like, I used to be very sincere. Um, you're not half-ass anything ever. Yeah. Um, that's just my nature, I guess. Even when I was a copywriter or a struggling actor or a kid in acting class or in in this particular acting class or in university, I was very sincere. You know, it's like. I'd go all out to. <laughs> I, I basically oh that's better. That's I basically good. can't half-ass anything. So yeah. um, this was I think the first day of Kishore Namit Kapoor acting class, um, and this was an exercise, which was they were trying to demonstrate how things oftentimes get lost in communication. um due to various factors and then later we'd sit and analyze why and how it happened so it's like a chinese whispers game um you go and show the action to somebody they come out and render it and so on and so on i was the last person yeah you, this is the end yeah this what you see is after 30 people of 30 people miscommunicating with one another the action actually is standing in front of a cupboard opening the cupboard choosing a shirt putting on the shirt buttoning it up and getting ready and this is what it ends up as <laughs> so so yeah this was this was first day of acting class uh 
I have a lot of uh, a lot of love for this kid. I don't even know who it is anymore. I know. Yeah, but a soft spot. These are my best days. I uh, oftentimes look back and uh, feel a lot of love for this guy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Cute guy. You know, I also asked um, Karan um, what he was most surprised by in Rocky or Rani because it's the first time you guys are working together, right? And and let's listen, yeah. <laughs> let's listen to what Karan said. Whoa. So what surprised me the most about Ranveer is that he's an outstanding dialogue writer. Like um, you give him a scene and he'll come back with a better written scene. And that I didn't know. And in fact, I've never quite worked with an actor who's ever done that. The other thing is that the only way he can remember his lines if he's, is that if any physically writes it all down himself. So he writes every scene again that has already been written. Uh, these were some of my big realizations. I'm fascinated by this. Yeah. You're a dialogue writer? Yes. And always? I'm probably the best in the business. Ajay, don't be always ki ye abhi hua hai. I am a closet writer. And when I thought that, when I felt like this acting thing is too far-fetched, you know, mera kya chance lagega, it's too... It's not for people like us, you know, when I had kind of given up on my dream, I was pursuing, actively pursuing becoming a writer. I went to the States to kind of learn, uh, do media studies and I thought I'd go to New York or Chicago, get a copywriting job. I'd already done two internships and um, I, I really excelled at those internships. So I really had a future as a writer uh, and that's the path I was going to follow until one fateful day in university where I happened to take an acting class. And I was like, man, this is it. This is what I got to do. This is my first love. Why am I compromising with my whole life? This is what I want to do. But there is a writer there. And I think it's, um, I think Ram Leela is where it started. Because, yeah. Ram Leela. <laughs> Applause for only Mr. Sanjay Leela Bhansali. I can't, I, I often run out of words to express to you what that man has done for me as an artist. The way he completely overhauled my thinking about the craft of acting, about art, about performance art. It's like he shattered all these constructs that I came into his film with and made me realize that art is limitless. Performance art is limitless. Exploring your creativity is just limitless and there are no rules. You make the rules. You break the rules. You can do whatever you want. So he let you write? So he'd be very collaborative in the blocking and staging process. And he loves that. And his writers are there on set morning to night every single day in every one of his films. Because that's his process. When he's on set, he's creating there. It's not like he's in some other space sitting with his writer writing the scene you have it on paper and you go and execute that is a process I've worked with filmmakers who have that process but oh Mr. Bansali he loves to play so when he's on set that time staging a scene with Mr. Bansali is perhaps as a creative person the most fulfilling time other than the time between action and cut it's just that's like it's I crave it I crave it I it's, it's the best time ever because like I said, there are no rules for him, right? So even if there is this scene on paper, you don't have to do it. You don't have to say that. You don't have to do that. Say what you feel. Do what you feel. You tell me. It's your character now. I gave it to you. Now it's yours. You tell me what your character would say. You tell me what your character would do. So we're staging and like if you're staging a scene, I'm like, and it's like, it's like a hot set. It's so, oh, it's palpable. That creative energy on that set when you're staging with Mr. Vansali is just, oh, it's hot, you know? And he's like, what should we do? He can make a four page scene into one line. He can make a one line into a six, eight page katha. He can do anything. 
so you should be prepared for that yeah. well often times actors come into the bhansali process and get very thrown off yeah they're like oh, but uh, but uh, they're like but what bro <laughs> 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 and it's usually in the initial days and me now being like three films old so with mr vansali i'm like it's fine it'll be fine <laughs> just go with it <laughs> you're the vansali veteran i'm the veteran on yeah. that yeah. so uh so it's like when you're staging i'm like so he's like fir you tell me what do you want to do i was like sir i want to i want to mm, i want to i feel like catching him and putting him up against the wall and saying you like i'm not doing that can't say it but and he's like i love it i love it do that do that so and then we move from there and then he's like then what you want to do then i'm like then then and then it's like he'll come up with an idea he's like he'll throw an idea at me i'll be like and then i'll do it and he'll really start clapping he's so like he's so yeah i love him yet yeah. i absolutely love him um But this this is I where have, the writer started. I have they I I live a hundred times I'll I'll always be indebted to him for teaching me everything that he has. I'll never be able to repay him and he wholeheartedly, you know, works to allow me to blossom as an artist and it's really on his his films that have really spiked my growth as a performer. Uh so uh it was the first time on Ramleela when this fluid creative process is happening. then you can say anything right yeah. so in character you come up with every i love to play with language i love to play with accents um i love to pepper the script with stuff that i've picked up when i'm developing the character and research which the writers love you know touch wood unanimously i've worked with writers who are who are only too excited to to have that kind of input and contribution um and sometimes i'll say a line in english and they'll translate it in 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 hindi and then we'll work on it together so siddharth garima vijay morya in gali boy prakash ji in in the other bansali movies even rohit sir just about everybody you know if there is some kind of input that really lands they'll be they're so collaborative they'll they'll allow it and starting with ram leela then i started i was like wow yeah this is great because some of the best stuff came from just that yeah saying instinctively what you want to say on the spot those are the best things so i was like this works let's try it again and again and again and now i i feel more confident about that and whenever uh, you have somebody like karan who is ever so collaborative you know he's only too happy for you to contribute uh, so then you make more suggestions you know and then and then it kind of builds and you have something that's that's there and then you can just you can just better that you know just it's it's me just adding bells and whistles and detailing and some of that stuff is is the best stuff and about the writing part it's funny that he mentions it i didn't think i didn't expect that and i didn't expect him to notice it but i do that very deliberately because in my head when i'm reading the scene there's a there's a rhythm to the scene so i take what's typed and i rewrite it by hand but the writing is in a rhythm in the okay. rhythm that i have interpreted the scene as so you putting in pauses so it's not very cold typed ah. out uh your handwriting i'm handwriting this and i have a little compass box with like highlighters and pencil pen you know rubber. your wife does exactly the same right. thing she's <laughs> she's another beast <laughs> all together she told me she goes to her shoots with with pencil box compass yeah. color coding yeah she's a she's a good student and so are you <laughs> um i i just i just like to I was I was not uh, I'm not a disciplined person like her at all. Huh. And that's the one very fundamental difference between her and me. Um but but I rewrite it and everything will be in my interpreted language for me. So if it was a hushed tone if I interpreted that line as a hushed tone then I'd I'd probably write it very small. But if I was yelling it ye shapath hai baje rao ballad ke then i'd write it big bold text like that ye shapath hai baje rao ballad ke exclamation <laughs> so i kind of uh, so you interpreting yeah, it in, in the writing in my writing so wow. that so that i go into the scene with my interpreted rhythm yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's Ren is amazing. watching all this, huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, coming back to Jayesh Bhai, Ranveer, uh, the, the general sort of flavor right now seems to be for very larger than life, hyper masculine heroes. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, you played a version of that in Simba. Tell me this. Now, Jayesh Bhai is. Not that person. You said he's sensitive. We can see from the promos that he's vulnerable. He's timid. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's he's very lovable. Do you think this sort of wave of testosterone is going to alter the Hindi film hero, or is there room for all kinds? How about me coming with an estrogen film in the wave of testosterone? I would love it. <laughs> yeah. But is is it going to have a long term effect, or is this just sort of you know, trends. I was going over this uh, Karan thing. Is it still lurking it's in my head? It's still in your head. Okay. Karan is watching everything. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> He's very astute. He is very astute. We know that. My, my. Uh, it's been a delight working with Karan, I have to say. Again, like we were discussing context with Karan, it's like comedy circus all day long. Yeah. He is an entertainer. He talks and jokes non-stop. We're making a light, happy, you know, vintage Karan Johar family drama with romance Cannot and wait. color and song. So you can imagine. It's just been it's been party time on Rocky or Rani Ki Prem yeah. Kani. Yeah. He is the first one who's actually said, I'll give you additional dialogue credit. Really? For all writing. That's going to be your first additional dialogue. I was like, no, I'm not here. Don't want. Don't want. Yeah. Ye to mara farz hota na. As actors, you take something which you're given. If you can't better it, then what are you doing there as a creative contributor? Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't want additional dialogue credit. I know there are some artists who have taken it, but not my style. Nice. अच्छा टेस्टोस्ट्रोन की बात करें अरे फूट फूट के निकलता है मेरे अंदर से मेरा हर जर्रा टेस्टोस्ट्रोन से भरा हुआ है नो डाउट यू नो दैट लॉयड स्टीवेंस हु वाज माय ट्रेनर फॉर रामलीला फर्स्ट टाइम आई क्रिएटेड दैट काइंड ऑफ फिजिक इन माय लाइफ माय गॉड ही वाज एक्सपेंसिव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ही ट्रेन देन तारक फॉर आरआरआर एज़ वेल बिग टाइम ट्रेनर and he when he came and he has a scientific approach so he asked me to do all these tests and you want to see how much testosterone you have in case you need some supplements that you know you need to fill that testosterone that you need to make all that body and all and the reports came back saying i have too much testosterone <laughs> okay we had no doubt these are scientific that. medical reports that are saying that that i have Extra testosterone enough to go around. I can spare some. <laughs> but Ranveer, what we love is that you're Jayesh Bhai in the middle of all of this. Yeah. Right. So, so see, I'll still do those movies. That is actually where it all started, ma'am. Honestly, like before, I wanted to become an actor. I wanted to become a hero. Mm. You know, what does that even mean? Is that I started off watching Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. These are my guys. I used to watch them: Shirtless, Rambo, Rocky, Commando. These are my heroes. You know, this is what I wanted to be. So I was very upset when Tiger did started. This said he do Rambo. I was like, "Ye to mujhe karna tha." <laughs> big muscles, big guns, shooting. Let's shoot some guns. Let's shoot up some guys. Ta 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 ta. Save the day. Uh, so. So that's my that's my default, yeah. You know, actor. So I made later, and that was by the way. Banna tha hero. Even when like the great Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, he's my hero. He's my original hero. Yeah. Now he's put in some extraordinary performances, but I love him for Ajuba, Tufan, Jadugar. Shehenshah, same guy who's done Kala Patthar and you know all Divide, all of this, Diwan sure and all of this. Yeah. But so so that's my default. I'll, you know, I'll be I, very honest. That's me. It's like Simba. I feel I I feel at home. Sure. Um, and when I watch KGF and I'm yeah, rocking star Yash.
I don't like why. Oh, I'm like yes, kill him, Yash, kill him. <laughs> I love that cinema. That's my first love. Um, I I literally picture me not being able to make it to the theater, but watching it at home alone, whether it's Magadira or whether it's KGF one. I'm watching alone in bed at night and like clapping. Yeah. Even in spite of not uh, being in a community watch, I'm still cheering and hooting and like reacting. Such is my love for that, you know, kind of cinema. I saw RRR recently. Yeah. So, so that uh, that's that's very much me, and I will continue to do that as soon as Simba two. Uh, there is Simba two. God, I'll be very disappointed if there isn't. I mean, Simba deserves a reprise, right? Yeah. Oh, he's one of my favorite guys. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, of course, it was Simba. Actually, to be honest, was always designed to be a franchise. Um, the whenever Rohit Bhai calls, I'll be there. Um, and it, it, there will be a Simba too. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, but yet, yet. And I mean, one of my favorite movies of my own, and one of my favorite performances of my own. When I watch that, I'm like, yeah, yeah. woo! <laughs> so, I love it, and I will do it, and I love that. But, but there's this also. Yeah, as uh, they should be. Yeah, they should be. I, I, I grew up at some point, or grew older, and I started watching all kinds of cinema. You won't believe it was very late. I was about eighteen or nineteen when I started consuming non-mainstream cinema for that. Uh, for that matter, if you like to term it as that, till then I was only watching your uh, mainstream stuff. Yeah, I grew up on like Karan Johar movies and Yashraj movies, and you know I was only watching the big Hollywood Govinda, movies. Govinda, of course, your big course, love. Of course, that's my dal chawal. So, <laughs> so uh, it was actually I had a turning point at I think age 18, first class in university, and I was supposed to write a four-page paper on uh, an analysis of Taxi Driver. Oh. Yeah, that was a turning point for me and I'll never forget I was sitting in the library watching this movie and it was like, you know, you, in movies sometimes you have that moment and it's a particular shot taking also. The, there'll be like a 360 turn of the character, the whole space will turn and that character has had a complete, you know, the, his world has changed yeah. in that moment. Yeah. I had that moment when I watched Taxi Driver that night in the library. I was like, yeah, picture is like this. It can be 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 like this. It's not always a happy ending, yeah. And then I just built this vociferous appetite. Um, I was ravenous for movies. I took a job in like a movie empire, you know, like the movie library of the university. And it was uh, in a far flung place in the campus. So hardly anybody ever used to come. And my shifts used to be four and six hours. I used to just watch movies, 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 all kind of movies. And just to learn, I was like, kya, kya hai, yaar? Matlab. So it was very late. But once that happened, that kind of gave rise to another, um, you know, it, it called upon another aspect of me as a performer, as a personality that you can, you can be different characters, live different lives. You know, you can take different parts of you and pour that into your art. Uh, so it came later, but uh, you know what the default is? <laughs> Low angle, blaring background boots, music. Boots, in, yeah, yeah. I'm home. <laughs> but... Lagao camera, low angle, pe. low. Short low, so 48 minutes, 48 minutes. Slow motion. Ah, everything is in high speed, yes. Yeah, everything's yeah. in high speed, everything's larger than life, everything's celebrated, the volume is high, like this. <laughs> on everything. Uh, I love watching that cinema. I love being a part of that cinema. <laughs> to be very honest with you, even my first opportunity to dabble in that realm came very late with Simba. I was already like, what, seven, eight years in. Um, but I'm waiting for the next opportunity and I can't wait. I think uh, the next time I'll have uh, the opportunity will be with the great Shankar. Wow. 
that'll be amazing. Cannot too wait. Too excited. Yeah, that uh, is very exciting. So, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I love that cinema, and I, this, this stuff came to me later. Um, I would credit Manish, Vikram, Zoya, with all of these, uh, all of these directors who taught me um, how to. Actually, it was Lutera, where. Yeah, to film my love, to film my love. Yeah, such a little gem. It was there where I really, Ladies vs Ricky Bell hadn't done too well at the box offices. Full of all this like uh, angst, and um, I was like, man, I'm gonna prove a point, and to myself more than anybody, that up until then there was perhaps this criticism that you know it's all this all this high energy and all was put in a different context you know it's like people thought okay flash in the pan or one dimensional or whatever i was like i'm going to do the exact opposite to prove a point to myself um that all of this criticism has no basis um so it was in lutera that i realized that i have that potential too and i took it forward in perhaps you could say dil dhadakne do and then gali boy um so i'm also honestly just learning as i go and experimenting something works something doesn't but i'm learning with every filmmaker with every experience with every i'm learning as i go um i'm still learning though i have to tell you when i watched jayesh bhai i was like okay the toolkit seems to be pretty set now you know it's like over a period of time with everything that you learn what are you doing when you're learning really you're just acquiring tools to that you can use in your performance to make them more effective when you're rendering the performance so it, i picture it like having a toolkit or a tool belt uh ki over a period of time you you create these tools and you have them in your belt you sharpen them and you have my i felt like when i watched jayesh bhai my toolkit is ready i was like that that was that was an observation um and it's not like now i'm i'm adept at using it also i'm very skilled at using it i observed that in jayesh bhai as well uh it's like earlier it used to be like ha uske liye ha ye kaha tha are yahan se nikal ke ha so now it's like without looking ball aur kya chahiye anger sadness ball dono saath mein chahiye chaka So yeah, I got a, I've got a, I've got a good set tool belt now. It's been ten years. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. I made it. <laughs> Completed a decade. So so yeah, now I feel I feel like I've acquired a, a lot of tools and I'm able to um, uh, easily um, bridge uh, myself to where I need to be emotionally. Hmm. Um, with less effort um like lutera for instance i was doing crazy shit i remember yeah. you told me you stapled your stuff yeah, yeah yeah i was like it was just a process of experimentation how yeah. do i achieve that effect you try different things uh now i with a little bit of experience i can achieve the emotional effect without causing too much physical mental emotional harm to myself uh also be able to detach from what's going on um why you get too caught up like and as recently as padmavat man that was one dark year for me i was like inhabiting this mental and emotional space that was just like you know just like hating on everybody it's just a hater <laughs> you know <laughs> so so yeah i mean i've 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 i'm a, i'm a more efficient professional now right right let me speaking about getting better Gee. right um i remember the first time we talked to each other 2014 you told me that and you'd been working for maybe 3 years then uh 3 4 years and you said that the bad experiences in the business had hardened you a little hmm now as an actor your job is to be open and be vulnerable um but it is a brutal business so how do you stop your heart from hardening I don't even know that guy anymore. Really? I'm like fool. You don't even know the half of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, बड़े बड़े talks दे रहा है भैया तेरा चौदह में. Oh, I've become hardened and all that. 
क्या पता है तुझे सो या आई हैव कम अ लॉन्ग वे फ्रॉम देयर um but the heart is not hardened it is as cold as it gets really it's not a heart it's a patthar patthar wala dil ho gaya hai mera kyun ho gaya hai madam abhi main kya batau ye life hai madam okay but how thokar kha kha ke loha ban gaya hu main loha but in a good way simba to laga shot laga Ranveer, is this in a good way? No. How can it be good, ma'am? You should always have a soft heart. Yeah. But what do you do now? Living in the Kalyug, this is going to happen. <laughs> so let's say I have one heart, and it has different chambers. And let's attach a personality to each one of these chambers. There's one chamber that's still pure, and thinks everything is great, and that everyone is good, and that we live in this utopian society, and that. there is only love in this world to share there's one chamber and the other chambers are like <laughs> in a nutshell um but yeah it's it's only gotten it's only gotten harder uh, my 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 belief in 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 goodness has consistently waned um oh wow well, i mean this is this is the harsh reality of uh, life of, uh, but that's not impacting on your work fortunately i have been able to protect um the artist. side of me that is mm. empathetic and compassionate so as to be able to create and put some kind of heart into the characters and i fiercely protect that side of me and i'm very happy that i've got some angels around me my mother sister my wife my best friends my team who protect me who protect my heart um it's not my own doing i'm just blessed with these angels who protect it for me uh otherwise that that good soft boy is always under attack who always thinks that every everything is good and you know this world is a lovely place and you know but uh But yeah, I have grown grown up also only to realize that uh, it's not all roses, you know. This life, uh, I have become a hard guy now. Um, but I I don't judge myself for it. Uh, I'm not too hard on myself that uh, for it. It's it is what it is. You you live, you learn, you grow, you evolve, um, and all of this is is your reaction to what's happening around you, to the stimulus. So a lot of it is not your own doing. i am just a liver of life what's happening is happening what it will do to me it will still do to me um but but yeah it's uh, sometimes has to become a conscious effort to protect that yeah um yeah. and it sometimes takes a concentrated effort to be like nahi yaar you know just just believe yeah. take that leap of faith still have that romance with life alive but other than that since from them to now, from then when we first spoke about this it's just been more of the same and uh, and yeah i'm a hardened hardened criminal <laughs> <laughs> you know one of the things i really like about you is how much you celebrate your wife's success mm. you know you're very proud of her it's yeah i love it i love i love that you're so happy my jaan Yeah, when she's she's successful. So, how are we feeling about Deepika Padukone on the main competition jury of the Cannes Film Festival? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I'm so happy. I want to break out into a dance. Yeah. I was like, why, yar? Yeah. Baby, why, yar? People actually like they want you to be the person who decides which is the better film. Isn't it amazing? That's huge. It is huge. I mean, I thought to myself, यार मेरा कभी नंबर आया क्या? मुझे कभी बिठा ही नहीं क्या? जूरी उरी पे? आज तक किसी ने बुलाया नहीं है किसी जूरी पे कि आप डिसाइड करो किसका बेटर है परफॉर्मेंस किसका पिक्चर है? But can I mean like that's huge. It's huge. This is like baby is like deciding which is 
the be- from the best films in the world at the time which is the better one yeah. it's so crazy uh i was like i was like wow that was my reaction i was like wow this is just too amazing um yeah and i'm i'm very proud for everything that she achieves every time it's like i'm i'm her uh, designated cheerleader you know whether it's time magazine or whether it's can or she does stuff that is just unprecedented for mainstream uh, leading women from indian cinema and she's forging her own path in that sense you know and that's something to be extremely proud of as her partner and i hugely admire her um and i think nobody deserves it more than her because she's she's just so sincere in everything that she does um and she works so hard and she's she deserves every bit of it and i'm extremely proud of her she makes me glow glow with pride you are probably the best cheerleader a woman can have yeah and like you know? plus she's like gorgeous <laughs> it helps yeah <laughs> Oh, okay. You should see the reactions when she touched wood. Yeah, Jay Julia. She walks into a room, man. She's like a consummate movie star, you know, in She that is. sense. Yeah. She has that aura. Oh, I love it. Like I walk into a space hand in hand with her, and I just love to see people's reactions to her. <laughs> and I'm like. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to stop. And Jayesh Bhai is in theatre.